Let me show you today this little experiment on magnetic levitation. I'm going to need the following elements. This is a coil, 300 tons of magnet wire over this metallic bolt. The coil is connected to this 18 volts transformer and the transformer is connected to the household current through this switch. We also need this little cylinder of aluminum. I took this cylinder from a capacitor by cutting the ends. Let me put the cylinder inside the bolt and turn on the transformer. So why does this happen? When the alternating current circulates through the coil, an alternating magnetic field is induced in the bolt. It is a field that increases and decreases continually. Now, we know because of Faraday's law of induction that when a magnetic field cuts a conductor, aluminum is a conductor, a current is induced in the conductor. Therefore, there will be a current flowing in this aluminum cylinder. This current, in turn, generates its own magnetic field. This aluminum cylinder becomes an electromagnet and, because of Lenz's law, the magnetic field of the cylinder must be opposed to the magnetic field that is generating it. Therefore, we have two opposed fields, that of the cylinder and the field generated by the coil. And this produces a repulsion between the two elements, which gives rise to the levitating phenomena. If we try to do the experiment with direct current, there will be no effect, only momentarily, because direct current will create a magnetic field that will expand and then it will become ecstatic. Let's see. Only when we connect and the field increases, there is induction in the aluminum cylinder. At that moment, we see a repulsion, but after that the field is static, there is no increase and decrease in the field and therefore no induction in the cylinder, and we only see a little jump. 